I have the pleasure of speaking with Professor Li Hong Wong. Today, he is um, the man who really pioneered photoacoustic imaging. Professor Wong, thanks for talking with us. And if you could just tell us maybe um, a little bit about what you think has really made a critical difference in your work, your career. First of all, thank you, Barbara, for inviting me. Um, I think that education has played an important role in my life, in my career. Um, I had the pleasure to work with a Nobel Prize winning group at Rice University, and that was quite an eye-opener. Um, you know, we learned a lot of knowledge from books, but when I joined the lab, I learned how to do first-rate research. Mm -hmm. And so I have to thank my three mentors at Rice, um, unlike many other groups, uh, we had three advisors, two students working on a project. So on a weekly basis, we had a meeting with three bosses and two students. Uh, that, that was just absolutely first-rate training. And then I also want to thank my uh, postdoc mentor, Steve Jacks. Um, they gave me the flexibility and option to explore my own research directions. And that I learned quite a bit from him as well. Um, so that, that was a huge step in my career growth. What you consider your most proud achievements in your work, and what gives you the greatest joy? Discovery. Mm -hmm. um, we were the first to build 3D photoacoustic microscope. We were the first to uh, image functional information using photoacoustic tomography. The first in vivo set of images uh, were acquired by our lab and we are very proud of that achievement. Photons plus ultrasound, which is essentially photoacoustic tomography, has become the largest conference at Photonics West since 2010. Mm -hmm. uh, so this field has been growing extremely fast. Um, we're benefiting researchers and patients because this technology has been commercialized for both preclinical and clinical studies. Yes. Okay. And we also built the world's fastest camera in the world recently. So the camera allows us to capture 100 billion frames per second. Wow. We actually upgraded that to 10 trillion frames per second. And that frame rate is fast enough um, to capture light flying mm -hmm. in space. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. I mean, a standard, standard phone has roughly 30 hertz frame rate, mm -hmm. and this is 100 billion or 10 trillion frames oh per second. Yeah, yeah. Right? So discovery is really where where it's at for you, exactly. and then you know translating that into tools that people can yeah. use. Exactly, yeah. and this is endless. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Um, and uh, what advice would you give to a young scientist? I would say, pursue your scientific dream mm -hmm. with passion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Passion. Thank you.